from the Jacks Federal Credit Union studio, this is River City Live. Welcome to a very special River City Live on the river, actually the St. John's River Taxi, which if you haven't been on the River Taxi lately, you are going to be very pleasantly surprised at all it has to offer. This is my first time. Yeah, me too. Now I heard a lot about it and now I'm excited to actually be here and then I want to bring the family out because there's a lot of things that this taxi, like a lot of places that it goes and we're going to interview Heather, one of the owners, just a little bit, again, with all the different projects and things like that that they have. Yeah, when I first moved to town, one of the first things I did when my family would come to visit is get them here, we would get on the water this way, park maybe on one side of the river and then go over to the other. Since that time, this, this river taxi has evolved so much. Now there are packages and special trips you can make where there's live music on board. It's, it's pretty amazing. And even if you're somebody who Let's just say you get motion sickness. It's flat and wide and it's the river, so you don't have any worries there too. And you can see dolphins. Yeah, yeah we just dolphins. saw some. So hopefully we can get some we'll shots and get of some dolphins the like throughout our little tour. <laughs> All right, so let's start with our little host chat. And you were just talking about being motion sickness where you're not gonna have that here because it's a, it's a nice stable big right. boat. But did you know some people actually, they have, they get motion blindness. Huh. Did What's you, like, so basically what happens is this, if somebody throws an object at you, and I don't know if this ever happened to you, like let's say someone tosses you keys, you don't see it at all, and all of a sudden it hits you. What happens is there's a disconnect, your brain and your eyes, they're not communicating, so it's not seeing it in flight. It also happens when you're in a vehicle. So if you're driving, sometimes when an accident happens, you actually didn't track with your brain what was happening. Oh, Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So, so that, it's a real thing, because some people are like, I'm just not athletic. No, it's... Okay, but is that the same as, for example, I say I'm not athletic as far as sports with balls, because I'm afraid, like, I'm blind to it because I cover my eyes when it's coming. That's not the same thing. Everybody could have it. It's going to be more prevalent in certain people. So maybe you have it more than, say, someone like, I could catch okay. You know, so maybe right. it's not the same. You Our just might have it more. <laughs> Our director, Ryan, we're always throwing thumb drives back and forth. And I attribute it to him being not yeah. athletic. But now he's got an excuse. I think it's he's that. It's blind. IQ with him. Okay. It's a lot of things. <laughs> There's a lot of things with Ryan. I like the IQ. You know, it is the got, IQ. He's got really short hands. You guys are, you know, in arms. Alligator no, arms. Totally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry, right. So Sorry, it's right. a combination with him. Just, you know, <laughs> genetics all around. Oh, yeah. yeah as well. well, let's switch some gears now. So I'm lucky. My daughter is in school now, but I'm having to save up for college. But the good news for that is it's actually more expensive to pay for daycare than what it is for college. Wow. And that's according to the think tank New America. They said uh, daycare costs about $9,589 a year while college students are paying $9,410 a year, which it's such a small <laughs> difference, but I mean, something to but consider. It shows you just how much daycare yeah, is. Yeah, I think it's a trend, mm -hmm. right? Because before, yeah. obviously, it was college. Now, daycare is getting higher and higher and higher. Mm -hmm. And who knows, in another 10 years, it might be double what it is for college. And when yeah, you were doing daycare with yours, you know, we see stuff where, like, it's competitive to get in, like, these daycares or whatever, or these Montessori schools. Did you have that issue? Oh, no, we didn't do anything like that. In fact, uh, where we had our kids go, um, I can say, unfortunately, it's not there anymore, Akatink Academy. Um, they had, our biggest concern wasn't getting in, it was getting them potty trained so they could go. That's you know, true. because yes. it's like, you know, is your child at Akatink? Well, uh, mm. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I haven't quite made it to the toilet yeah. yet. Yeah, exactly. Now, that is the big thing. That's where you're so nervous. And you're like, define potty train. <laughs> are we talking 70% success rate? Because we're there. And they're yeah, like, oh, no, really? 100%. Just are you sure you don't want them yet? <laughs> right. Or then they always ask, like, bring extra clothes. Yeah. And then, like, you know, we're always like, here's a week supply. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know? in case. just in case. It's going to be a long day. Well, you get somebody else's clothes, you're like, all right, whose are these? And what's going to happen? All right. I have to give these back. But I like these clothes better than yours, so maybe we'll keep them. <laughs> that was just me. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for some good news, bad news? All right. So I am. you want the good news first? Please. Please. So the good news is you weigh the least amount you're going to weigh right now for the entire year. Wait. The bad news is you weigh the least amount you're yeah. going to weigh right now for the entire year. That's because there's a certain amount of time the average person has to take off the weight from the holidays. 
and it's right now is about where everybody's kind of like bottomed out. Okay. And now the holidays are going to start, oh. and everyone's going to pick the weight back up. Now we're not talking about tons of weight, like with a within a couple of pounds. And certainly, if you're one of these people that's on a special program or diet, and you're at your lowest, we're not trying to be the voice of doom. You're probably going to keep on going, and good for you. Isn't it? It's so bitter though, because we know that we're going to get a little chubbier, you know, over the next couple of months with the holidays. I it's got just... problems. <laughs> I got problems. But isn't that funny though? Like right now, you are just don't you feel light? Like a feather right now, just thinking about the fact, like this is it. This well, is being on this boat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Being on a boat too, especially. Well, I have this theory, like after Christmas, everybody goes on. You know, they're at the gym making their New Year's yeah. resolutions, and you know, so for three months solid, they're getting beach fit, and then right around fall, it's football tailgating, sure. and then like you say, the holidays kick in. So, are you guys guilty about that with the holidays? Do you, yeah, it's awful. I have a problem every day so you know holidays <laughs> monday tuesday but yeah holidays get a little worse and then in our office at the station people start bringing food oh and, yeah yeah and you guys are good i wish i had your willpower because they will they'll like i'm not going to touch it or i'll just look at it ranch is not like mark. <laughs> yeah, not mark. three o'clock for mark three o'clock yeah well you know what it is i think i average to be like a c average when it comes to diet a or an f right <laughs> so i'll have that salad and then i'll rock 10 bowls of cereal <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night because my body's but the sugar. good news is he has a hummingbird heart, so he's good. <laughs> yeah. He can just do all of that, but then he, he doesn't want to eat alone. He's like the worst about that. Hey, I'm going to have a cupcake. Don't you want one too? He can't do it, it, it is. by It's himself. pure pressure with sugar, with eating especially. He's like, no, I'm not taking any sugar not gonna today. not going to have one. And I'm like, did you try this cookie? But if you're having one. Be, oh. I think my lowest is like, Eden, what's your favorite dessert ever that you can't say no to? And then I'm going to start bringing that in. <laughs> and then actually, you know what? It was just uh, like a week or two ago, creme brulee. Yeah. A couple weeks ago when we had that and it was just, oh, My I couldn't first. go near it. Mm, <laughs> buttery. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about, parent shaming seems to be like at an all time high right now, right? Mm. Yes. But according to the University of California, we parents, fathers and mothers are spending so much more time with our kids than people did back in the 60s. So for mothers, it's twice as much. For dads, it's quadruple. Back in the 60s, dads only spent about 16 minutes a week with their kids. <laughs> a 16 week? minutes. That's like yeah. Mad Men. <laughs> right, yeah, seriously. You know, John Draper comes in. <laughs> right, right, exactly. They have a in. smoke and, hey, what's up? They take a shot of whiskey for their child. <laughs> right. So uh, how was Monday through Friday? <laughs> All right, go get him, kid. Anything good happen this Hey, week? what did I tell you? <laughs> Use filters with your cigarettes when you smoke, <laughs> little Jimmy. Then he's, uh, yeah. But you also got to think see that, you next week. <laughs> that, like Mad Men, the men seem, used to be like the ones that were making all the money and doing all the work. So, you know, and then they'd use the excuse like, I'm working, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, I shouldn't put that out there. I'm not throwing shade. But now we've got a lot more, uh, what do you call it? Hands daddy on, moms. Yeah, yeah Daddy definitely. moms. And yeah. the, the higher the educational level, the more time that they saw that that was the trend, the more time that they spent. So even though a lot of mothers now are working and they're professionals, they are still carving out time to be with their kids. And the same thing too with dads. It was kind of a negative stigma, mm -hmm. I think back in the 50s and 60s, where like if it's like, can I get up early for work to go hang out with my kid? And people are like, what? Nope. You know, but <laughs> yeah. now it's just, I think it's more socially acceptable. It just means you're a good parent. Well, you shouldn't be parent shaming. Everyone does their best for the most part. But here's something if you want to spend more time with your kids this St. John's River taxi. We want you to know more about it. So we have, I was going to say, we've invited Heather Service <laughs> yeah. to join us. To our she, boat, she's, which she owns. <laughs> hey, welcome aboard, guys. Thank, well, thank you so you. much. T tell us the name of this particular boat. This boat is the Miss Hadley. Named for? Named for our six-year-old daughter. All right, Miss Hadley herself. So, yes, indeed. So uh, what are some of the, I talked earlier in the show about the evolution yep. of the river taxi. You guys are doing so much. You know, we've had so much fun. Um, this, this whole project has evolved over the past couple of years. My husband and I, um, sort of assumed operations in 2014. We spent the first year trying to figure out the best way to expand it and to diversify what we're doing. And um, just these past few months have been wonderful because we've introduced um, sunset cruises with live music, um, incredible local musicians on board. Um, we go to the zoo every Saturday. Um, we partnered with the Riverkeeper last year and they developed a program um, which is just incredible. It's for Title I fifth grade students. Um, we're about 50 or 60 of them um, each trip. Um, hops on the, the um, water taxi. Um, they're on the river for about an hour and a half and they, they have hands-on learning activities like um, they learn about water salinity and um, different, they learn about different species found in and around the, the river and um, the food chain, just 
hands-on learning and it's so exciting to see these kids um, on the water um, when dolphins jump they're all excited um, so we're really excited about um, the new programs that we've, we've implemented and then also you could take this to the zoo and there's a whole like built-in package with that can you talk about yeah you know just recently we started um, leaving from downtown we leave from downtown every Saturday we leave around 10 30 um, or 11 in the morning um, we can carry up to 100 people we go to the zoo um, once we get to the zoo, it's, it's about a 30 to 45 minute cruise. Once we're there, um, we drop off our passengers and then we convert to more of a dolphin tour experience for zoo guests. Oh, wow. So we, um, we offer three tours from the zoo docks before we head back downtown and, and get our guests back to their original departure location. Well, for a great example to show you some of the things you can do using the river taxi as transportation and as a part of the entertainment for the day, uh, today, we'll, we'll be taking you to the Riverside Arts Market. We'll be taking you to the zoo. We'll be stopping at a wonderful Jacksonville historic restaurant and landmark. Oh, gosh, I, I, I know there's more, but... Yeah, well, this weekend, <laughs> Navy is taking on Notre Dame right here in Jacksonville. It's probably one of the oldest collegiate rivalries that there is. And you guys are going to play a little bit of a part, right? Shuttling right, people back and right. forth. Right, um, right. Football games, Jaguar games, and of course, this this huge game this weekend. Um, those are the things that we, we really live for. And we're really good at it. We transport folks to and from the game. And we're starting to offer um, weekend passes so that people can experience the river all weekend long. Um, all of that's on our website, um, the latest information in terms of when we depart, how early we open, how late we close. Um, but it's a great way to experience Jacksonville and, and really showcase the city to a bunch of visitors. How important is it to have access to the river? Because, I mean, it's such an important part to the community economically, ecologically. You know, my husband and I have... have experienced the river just just really all our lives especially my husband he's um he he started uh he's in the marina business and and so we have enjoyed the river for for 30 40 years here in jacksonville um it's exciting to be able to introduce it to everyone we right. have an incredible asset in the st john's river and it connects to so many different venues downtown and in remote areas it connects to national parks it connects to city parks the Riverside Arts Market, um, retail destinations like the Landing and the Sports Complex and the Arena. Yeah, um, it's and so we're fun. excited today to take part in most of that. So, yeah. Heather, thanks again for inviting us on for all the information. And stick around because we're going to explore more of the St. John's River. Bon voyage! Wait, we'll be right back. Hop on board the St. John's River Taxi as River City Live hits the river in search of fun. Our first stop is the Jacksonville Zoo. See how the River Taxi can deliver you to a world full of great animals. Plus, step inside the human body as the River Taxi drops us off right outside the Museum of Science and History. And it could be your destination for all things holiday. We'll see how a simple boat ride can help you get to all of the fun at the Jacksonville Landing. River City Live from the St. John's River will be back in a moment. 